Welcome, welcome everyone to Chesswiz TV episode 97. Chesswiz comes to you from the darkness. Actually, it's just like the middle of the night here right now. I'm only joking, but there's a lot of clouds, so it feels like it's dark. I'm, I'm like... Well, my camera has a little light on it, so I know where to look. Anyway, today is extra special. We have a special guest today, Admiral A from lechess.org. Very, very strong chess player joins us today. So without further ado, let's bring him on air. Just have to click this button right over here. Click. Hello, Admiral. Hello. How are you doing today? Doing well. Can everyone hear the Admiral? Yes, they can. How are you doing today, Admiral A? I'm doing as about as well as an admiral could be. <laughs> so we got to get a little trivia on your name. How did you choose that name, Admiral? I know about the A, but I'm not going to share that part. But how did you become an admiral? Uh, but you you basically have to go through the whole alliterative army first. I mean, you have to be Private P, then eventually you go up to Major M and Sergeant S, <laughs> and with some luck you get, you get up to General G, and then and then now you're an Admiral A. General so, G. So. General G, yeah. I got, I got stuck there. In fact, I'm still a general mess, but a General G would be an upgrade from that. Yeah, it would be. Well, that makes sense then. Admiral A, that's that's near the top. I guess you'll be President P at the end of it if you keep it up. Although the president does not come after the admiral, I will expose my ignorance by making that statement. <laughs> but today we are not here to talk about admirals, but chess. Are you ready for some chess, Admiral A? No, but I'm going to play anyway. <laughs> Excellent answer. I'm going to give us enough time so that we can click the little add time button over and over and over, uh, which is what I hope you will do for me. And I'm definitely going to make it casual. We're going to play each other in a game of chess here and talk it over for the benefit of the viewers. That sound good? All right. Okay, I have to click a good. friend, which means I have to have friends. Unfortunately, I don't. So to You don't have friends in outer space? Oh, is that the kind of admiral you are? Um, well, maybe. Uh, I'm glad to, I've, I've given it all away now, haven't I? You've given most of it away. Okay, so I'm, I'm sending sending a link to you, a special link. i got to beat the viewers to this. Where's the chat? Do you see this link in the chat of the, in the, chat. Of the outer space communication module? Oh, dear. Also known as Skype. Oh, oh, okay, that's good. Okay, okay. Did you did you find that link right. yet? You gotta hurry, otherwise mm -hmm. some random patser is gonna join the game. And we're in L M Admiral A against Chess Viz sixteen seventy two. So you can see why I chose a casual game because Admiral A is clearly overrated, and I'm clearly underrated. But we don't want to ruin his rating with my underratedness. So we're gonna we're not gonna do that. All right. All right. So okay, did you see my so first move there. Are you going to yeah, criticize it? Are you going to say, oh, nobody plays E4. It's worst by test. No. I'm, I'm just I'm just going to resign right here. It's the strongest opening you can open. Right. Or maybe I'll just, I'll just I give think, it. I think you have a drawing go. line. I think there's a way for you to draw here. Oh, you messed up. Yeah. Oh, you messed up. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. You just, you, you know, this is interesting. This close Sicilian yeah. is actually one of the first Sicilians against I, I lost against. I was just like, oh crap, oh crap, this is this is not going anywhere good. You mean like um, in 1989? Yeah, the first time you lost a chess game was a, was a Sicilian? That's what you're trying to say? <laughs> well, no. But, but it was the first Sicilian I lost. Okay, so when you started playing Sicilian, you oh. won every game for years, and then someone played a closed Sicilian. No, it could have been the very first Sicilian I played against. Well, that could have been. Allegedly the first Sicilian. Well, I prefer the closed Sicilian because there's a lot of very smart people who know a lot about the open Sicilian, and I can kind of uh, go around them with this move. <laughs> right. Well, let's just get it over with. Sure. Knight c6, bishop e5. So far, we're in the opening book. Nothing too interesting we're, we're here. Pretty... Wait. Ah, uh, yeah. Strong players do play this line. In fact. This mm -hmm. is exactly what Matrix played, I believe. We had a game, episode 22, I think, maybe 23. Oh, I don't even remember. I better look that up right now. Where's the YouTube channel? There it is. Matrix. Hey, is there a search search in here? Yes. Um, 
Episode 17. Wow, I'm older than I thought. Okay, I'm definitely going to recapture your bishop. So for those of you who like the special guest episode with Admiral A in it, you can check out episode 17 long, long ago on the YouTube channel and find a similarly awesome episode, perhaps less awesome because this one has an admiral, but still kind of awesome episode with a special guest. This is the second time we've had a special guest on Chesswiz TV, and we're going to learn a lot because you can see his rating here is enormous. But look what you just did, Admiral. You created a hole right on D5. Doesn't that bother you? Um, usually that might be a problem, but this is, you, you know what's just going to happen? Tell You're me. just going to have to play and find out. White's going to get mean, checkmated? It's sort of like a, well, that's the plan eventually, but you know, this is sort of like a, a, a reverse Stonewall Dutch in a very terrible way. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. Hmm. But wouldn't hmm. a reverse Stonewall Dutch have an F-pawn that's moved? Mm. Well, it's sort of getting there. Like if I, if I was bothered enough. I'm super confused. You're right. Don't worry, I so think. I'm on it. No, no. A stone wall <laughs> has a D pawn that's that's up there. You're right, Alith. All right. Well. Yeah, this isn't a stone wall at all. This is more like a clay wall. I can break down this thing. You're crazy. Okay, so so the whole point, my whole play is going to be around d5 here because I see you've got a hole. So my white square bishop is gone, my dark square bishop can't help, and my other knight is pinned. So it's all on my knight c3 here. Uh, well, that's not a lot of hope for that, so let's see what we can do. Perhaps a trade. I, I don't think you're going to trade, though. I really mm -hmm. don't. Mm, yeah. What would you do if I did? Though? Well, I would recapture with the queen without thinking. Because I don't mm. think. I mean, this chess was TV. It's move time, not think time. Are you implying I might consider with the pawn? With the pawn? Well, yeah. well you know, you know that you always have to hope for, for the most stupidest wonders. Ah. Because I've been playing a lot of those lately. Well, some people would and, play and queen concentration too. Is never... I have to admit, you know, there's a lot yeah, of mice could. out there with dirt in the buttons, and you go to you go to capture, and you let go too soon. That could happen. That could happen indeed. So, at this point, I'm not sure quite what I should go with. You should be six for sure. You got a hole not... over there. Mm. All right, that seems something worth addressing. Okay, so I can never play d4 because of your super awesome bind on the center. So here's where the bishops are going to go. I'm drawing on the screen. Is it, is it my turn already? Yeah, okay, I'll just move it there. Uh, I want to get my other knight to attack d5. So how do I do it? Probably like this. Here, 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 and here. For the sake of the viewers, I say only here. Now to you, I will say knight h2, knight f1, knight e3. Am I way off track, or should I be thinking about f3, knight up to the hole? Hmm. I feel like last time. What are they asking? What are they thinking? No, yeah. they're just, just rolling right now. Uh, I didn't catch that. Did you say I was stupid? No. No, I was just wondering... What the viewers are thinking. Didn't you ask what they were thinking? No, I'm asking. I'm thinking about that hole on d5. I want to get my f3 knight there. Now, am I mm -hmm. off track, or is that what I should be trying to do in this position? I could be trying for f4, but maybe both at the same time? That hole right now isn't as strong. as It's, it's, not, your, it's not your strong point right now. It's a I mean, hole! Didn't you read the book about chess? It's so it's like chapter four holes. Chapter four. <laughs> I, I I think you have another square to be worried about right now. Really? I mean, I mean, you you have know, you should consider the queen on d six. That's going to go there soon enough. I mean, it might. I didn't even think about that. Are you going to play c four? Let's find out. Four. Oh. See, that would that would definitely make the the center a little bit more unstable for me. Mm -hmm. I guess you just better focus on casting the right time. I did move my bishop up. Yeah, well, I'm really excited to move my knight all the way around to d5. Just so excites me. I'm, I can hardly sit still. 
Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'll have to buy this is why I don't. Go ahead. This, this is why I don't like post civilian. Well, because you have to play 94? You, you don't have to play 94 in move oh, three. Don't. You took my bishop, and this is your penalty. Okay. So I've got knight a4 and I've got b3. Let me take a moment to think about those two options. I really don't know. Well, knight a4. Go ahead. With a knight, with a knight a4, I'm just going to move my queen over to c6. I mean, that just seems like something far more advantageous for me in the long run. I mean, I'll be able to cover that diagonal quite nicely. Even the short and... one, my knight on a4 would do nothing. I could also leave that b pawn there and then and then. If you take it, skewer you down to b7. Uh, I'm just going to go take care of that bishop. That's bothering me a lot. Great, great. I'm glad to be bothering you. So, how do you feel about this position? You've got the two bishops, but it's a closed center. Are you happy with it? Not so much, no. I mean, my... I mean, I'm not connected on any good diagonals. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. Ha I don't quite have any good build up against your against your setup right now. And I'm just trying to look for options to really go in aggressively or something. I, I probably need to just go sheer off style. Sheer off style. Well, that would definitely go over my head because I haven't heard of Alexei Sheer off in ten years. I've heard of anyone in ten years. But that'll happen if you go out of So, I don't know what shear off style is. You want to clue me in on that? Shear off style means making absolutely unsound sacrifices that just end up working somehow because you're just. You're, you're Alex or Shear off. Oh. Okay. Nobody gives a damn. You that just, makes sense. You just. I'm a little I mean, older, it does work sometimes. So, I, I guess I would know that as Mikhail Tall style. Mikhail Tall style. Oh, well, well, I know Mikhail Tall better because, like, you know, I'm a time traveler. Oh, really? Oh, that is uh, the powers yeah, of the yeah. Admiral can easily time travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm throwing knight h2 with the obvious plan of knight f1. Whoa. Let's try this. Knight f1, knight e3, knight d5. All I care about is d5 right now. Usually you shouldn't tell your opponent your plans, but in this case, the goal is to learn. Now, are you planning D5 yourself? That would be a shocker. D5. Nope. Not quite. I don't think that would be working out quite well. I mean, that would be a fork, wouldn't it? D5 would be a fork. Uh, no, you could recapture. I take with pawn, you take with bishop. I don't know where my head is at. Okay, so we're at night F one. Oh, is it one o'clock in the morning there? Or oh, one he says he says even... night F one, and I hear it's at night at one. Well, shout out to playing in the middle of the night. That's what it feels like to me. I just played in night F one at night at one. Night of one. I guess that would explain everything. That explains your shirt. That explains why it's dark. It's dark in outer space, so that just explains everything. It is dark. We've, we've just learned everything about chess with today. Yeah. Uh, the internet connection is actually a little shaky as well. It's hard to get satellite internet when you're on the wrong side of the satellite. Nah. Uh, well, I guess you just got to play on the dark side of the moon. In B5. Knight E3. Ha. Yeah, we're getting comments in chat. Your usual plan. Chess was just playing in a very dark room. You know what I think, the music, Dan? I think you're playing in a very dark room. And so is your face. So I'm just so excited. I'm almost to D5. This is really thrilling to me. I might not know what I'm doing, but I'm getting to D5. Of course, all that's really going to happen is... And you're not going to get to D5 because you just got pinned. I, I, uh, uh, oh, uh, you're right. Uh, well, I, I knew I would get pinned. I just didn't think it would happen to me. It's got a contradiction with that. 
I knew that there would be a pin on this chessboard. I thought my knight would pin you. It could happen. <laughs> Actually, it couldn't, but it's close to happening. Maybe I'm looking at it this way. You've got two bishops. I have two knights. That's better for you, so I'll make you give up your bishops for my knights. It's better for me. Why, why do you think everyone... Well, okay. You, you know, this is this thing. I like, I, I like to favor knights more than bishops. Really? I, I mean, I try to... I tried to emulate uh, Chigorin quite a okay. bit. I tried to but emulate Chigorin, but my computer was too slow. The emulator was choppy. Yeah, but you... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're just going to have to just get rid of that knight. Not much for it. That's right. Yeah, the two bishops, interesting advantage, but interesting disadvantage because the center is so closed. But now that you're left with a light squared bishop, I can't capitalize on d5 like I was hoping. So that's going to be there. So what can we do now? I, th I think I should get a rook out. I guess you could pass. <laughs> yeah, probably. Our friend Admiral A is actually playing chess inside a train. That's what you hear behind him, is the noise of the train. Hey viewers, are the voices balanced about Ride? Because I can't really tell if my voice is too loud compared to Admiral A's, or his voice is too loud compared to me. So if you could tell me that, that'd be great. I'm really excited to play F4 now. You know how excitable I am, extremely, and F4 is coming. I'm going to get more space. I really only played Rook E1 so I could maneuver my Knight. I really prefer oh. to be on F1. Oh. I guess how much hard is to support that one. Okay, so what are we looking at now? Well, the major choices are F5 or not F5. <laughs> it's 50-50. I'm looking for a coin I could flip here to make the decision. Just go to random.org. Random.org. Should I play F5? Is it an even number? Do you think I should play F5, Admiral? If you should play F5, then I just have to get my bishop out of there, but I'm still going to gain... I mean, I'm still going to hold on to that d5 square. I'll right. just move it on to f7. Right. But then I just play g4, h4, g5, and start checkmating you. What do you think? See how that pans out for you. See how it pans out. You know, chapter 6 says, always take the advice of your opponent. So we're going to go for that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, well, I don't have that much of a d5 to worry about. Yeah, this is this is definitely fascinating. If we can keep all the pawns on the board, I predict a draw <laughs> against the great admiral. <laughs> well, you did once. No, wait, wait. wait. I yeah, I, well, actually, I don't think it was on you. I did lose to you once in that uh, when I gave you rook on. Ah, Ellen Imzowich. I do vaguely remember that. You know, mm -hmm. whoa. No, I don't want to leave the game. Uh, you know all the famous players. So I'm looking at our game history, and you have won twice, and I have won one, twice. It's two to two. Fortunately, that Rook Odds game is, is prominently displayed there, so that it makes me look good. So everything rides on this game right now. That's right. This is the tiebreaker. All right, match. so I'm going to capital. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. That's what they're. That's what. That's where there are fireworks going on. People are just celebrating this epic world championship match between some chess whiz and some some admiral. I would call it the Maybe. intergalactic championship, and I think it's that, pretty that's nice. That's even more special. Yeah, and you've got fireworks on a train. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're not just on a train; they're in a train too. Wow! And is that train in outer space? Hmm. All right, so we're going to capitalize on that rook being there. Nice choice. Definitely, definitely want to change the subject when we get to the 
topic of where you're hiding. Take with pawn, have bad pawns forever. I will always have pawns that are that are weak to your bishop. If I take, you know, I take with my pawn, seems like e4 is going to be a target of your bishop once you maneuver it around to a diagonal where it can hit it. So I'm really tempted to take with knight. Mm -hmm. Really, like 100% tempted. At which point, I don't even know what will happen next. You'll double up on the d-file. Yep. And I'll wait for you to do that. I'm Okay, I'm still going to try to checkmate you. I, I see some h4, g5 strategies I could be playing here. I'm considering c3, even though it really ruins me. c3 is not going to be doing any good. I mean, there's just a b pawn, b pawn right there. It sure, there sure is, and my pawn structure ends up very weak. I need the, the c2 pawn in order to... Hold that file closed. What do you uh -huh. think of maneuvering my knight to c4? Is that a waste of time? C4. I mean, you, there still is that b pawn there, you know. <laughs> nah, that b pawn's I mean, way past c4. It'll never touch c4. <laughs> that thing right there, it's uh, so past. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is what I get when I play chess without coffee. You get an opponent who asks you what he should do? Oh, maybe. Look at this. Or maybe insult. I just didn't have to deal with the off. Look at this insult. The music what? Dan wonders if Chesswiz can commit to a single plan here. That's because all the commands I the bit. That's because all the plans I commit to are already married. Not committing to a single plan. Uh, well, it's better than a simple plan. Maybe. I'm committing to a plan, and it's h4, g5, checkmate. It's going to work. Right here. Mm. Probably play king f2 and get my rooks this way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why. I don't see why that wouldn't be checkmate. I'm not Why do I keep forgetting that diagonals are so important? Yeah, especially for bishops. I, I really focus on diagonals when it comes to bishops. I don't even think about bishop files. Fuck. Take, take, and I'm just all protected-y, so... G5. Now my rook is all stuck defending. G5. Does that checkmate you? Doesn't really checkmate you. No. Doesn't even come close. I guess I should just wait forever. Or you could just let it go. Waiting is a great strategy uh, because it's your turn if I wait, and maybe you'll make a bad mistake. I mean, it's waiting around. I mean, that. Maybe not the best plan of action when, when we have, like, three minutes left. Yeah, well, I, I do know that you uh, you have trouble with faster games. In fact, you don't even have any faster games ever played in the history of ever. So... I mean, that's that's why I'm on a train, right? Because, like, just like that other guy said, who is it? I keep forgetting all this stuff. Oh, yeah. you've got the chat but open? I only play, 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 play chat. Oh, there's an interesting chat going on. Everybody's saying, Admiral A is so smart. Wow, he's beating Chess Wiz. This is great. Uh, I'm kidding. He's, they're not saying that. No, they're not. It's a bit dejecting. Very disappointing, actually. Yeah, very. 100%. Maybe I should actually fix that. Maybe I should fix that and actually go get around to that already. Let's just push that C-pawn. Oh, the C-pawn. This changes everything. Hmm. Well, the obvious instinctive move is B captures C4. Uh, because everything else loses my knight. Mm -hmm. What will you do if I if I just capture? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. You'll take my knight. Mm -hmm. And then I will must take the knight back. And then you'll take my pawn with your queen. 
and then, and then, madness will ensue. You'll end up with the open file, but I have no choice. Otherwise, you crack my deep pawn. I'm just going to break it right here. And we'll end up with a broken image that unleash us forever. That deep pawn is just going to be split in half every time somebody opens up a game. Yeah, so if I place rook c1, rook a c1, mm. you'll, you'll take on d3, and my chances are very poor. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it does look that way. Oh, I didn't even think about that move, because I lost a piece. Are you sure you meant to pre-move that, Admiral? Doesn't that lose a piece? Wait, wait. Wait, oh. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Okay. That 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 back that backfired colossally. Did you? That just backfired colossally. Expect that? Yeah. Yeah. I... Oh. Okay. So this 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 is just as like a turning point in the game right now, isn't it? Yeah. Unless I ask for the magical. I'm definitely turning. Seems like a seems like a point of rotation. An, an anchor point. Alright. Just gonna salvage what I can. Salvage what I can. That's what I like to hear my opponents say. I think I'll salvage what I can. Mm -hmm. was, I'm about to lose another post or something. No, you're probably gonna win this game actually because well you've got two pawns for the piece and I'm about to lose a third. I'm thinking about C3 now. Ah, I'll just lose it then. It's not easy. Hmm. Well, right now, the best chance is probably for getting the rook, rook to the C file. To the C file? Like rook a C1? That's so blocked. It is blocked, but it'll just at least... Get, I mean, your, your, your C file is not protected by anything right now. Yeah, I was about to give it up. I'm, I was going to play rook a D1. And just say bye bye. And then the other thing I'm thinking about is a3, because if I can break down your queen side, maybe I can find a pawn to attack. Mm. Yeah, the queen side's worth playing. All right, but my back crack is very protected. Oh boy, that isn't going anywhere. Well, it's not going anywhere good, but it is going somewhere. Hmm. Well, I'm pleased okay. that you didn't request a take back because you would have gotten one and then you would have beaten me. So this is a much more pleasant outcome. We're definitely going to play another game, though. Oh, definitely. In fact, we might do something quite unusual. You don't even know. You never know what to expect on Chess Was TV. It's never boring. Yeah. It never is. So I guess we're just left with... Okay, what are you expecting from me right now? Take my free C pawn. It's obviously what you're going to do. Everybody takes free pawns on the internet. Oh, yeah, I guess they do. <laughs> it's a trap. Okay, now there's a pawn I can attack. So if I could just eliminate your B pawn, then I will be winning. Then then the game's yours. Yeah, then the game's way yours. Everything's riding on, on barrier right now. Barry, I like that. I like that. This is recent trend on this is recent trend on Leech's TV. Everyone's naming their pawns. They're getting so affectionate. Really? And and who is everyone yeah. in this case? Can you give an example of someone who names their pawns? Oh, I don't know. There could be one of the viewers like uh how are you pronounce that? Yeah, you know, I recently had a conversation with Tissinger, and of course he... Hold on, let me scroll down so you guys can see, because Tissinger is actually watching. Can I make rectangles? Yeah, that's not rectangles. There we go. Tissinger, that stands for It Is New Jersey Ham. Uh, he admitted it after I pointed it out. I was like, NJH, that's definitely New Jersey Ham. And he said, ha ha, you discovered my secret identity. So. I didn't know that A stood for Admiral, though. That's pretty clever. Admiral A, maybe I should be chess with C. Chess with C. Okay, now, now we're getting... Now we're talking. We need more recruits for the illustrative army. 
<laughs> I can't wait to move my E rook away so that you can play rookie two and win my knight. This is going to be disastrous. Yeah, but for whom will it be disastrous? Your clock, I think. Ooh. All right, 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 right. Going to that file. That's my move. Oh no 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 no! That's not a very good move. What's wrong with my brain? My brain cells falling out of my ear. I can't even think. Oh, that's extremely unintelligent. Oh no. You oh, want to take back on that? Oh yeah, let's click this this white arrow that points to the left. Oh, I made a decision that is not wise. Yeah, let's go this way instead. Ah, ah. <laughs> Definitely showing off our prowess here on the internet. Wow. Wow, okay. we're I, so strong today, aren't we? I really thought rooks just moved side to side. I forgot about up and down. You'll have to cut me <laughs> some slack on that one. Well, it's okay. We're, we've both made one colossal blunder, so I guess that's it. <laughs> well, there's definitely some differences. For example, my blunder was extremely more colossal. And also, you let me take it back. Those are some important differences. Definitely worth uh, it. Well, chess is a game of courtesy, after all. Yeah, and also a game of time. You have 17 seconds. Now, you do get 10 seconds per move, but you're going to have to step it up right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is it's time for a new blunder. I don't like to sit around with the same blunders. I like to, you know, different, different blunders. Keep things interesting. Oh, that's cool. Now we're getting somewhere. I like how you're checkmating me. That's really cool. <laughs> that's that's a clever checkmate. Guys, see Queen H two is checkmate. And if I stop him, then he probably takes my knight on E four because it's likely to lose that knight. Mm -hmm. So you better take your rook to h1. Well, you know, I thought about that for a moment, and then I and then I disregarded it because I actually was worried about your rook d2, which my knight could capture, but I didn't notice that part. But I think there's a problem with rook h1 since you recommended it. <laughs> if I play knight f2 to block everything up, you then you play and actually you bring your rook down to d2. So hard to defend. I can see you're laughing to yourself. That's a clue. I never should have played G4. Maybe I'm laughing to myself because my, my, my train compartment passenger just told a joke. Yes, that's probably what happened. He said, are you playing chess again, Admiral? Yeah. Don't you have any yeah. better right, right, right in the train. Right there in the train. That's where train passengers usually are. It's in the train. It's usually. Rare. It's rare that you'll find train passengers anywhere else. <clears throat> I'm having to change strategies to you running out of time is my new strategy. Uh, 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 okay, okay, yeah. That is the sound. Okay, let's just check you. Uh-oh. Oh, checkmate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. King cannot move. Knight cannot block. Only one legal move. Oh, and it's a bad one. Hey. You so clever. Now you can checkmate me. Yep. I deserve to be checkmated. Checkmate me now. Oh. What's wrong with my chest? Let me oh, ask wow. the engine. Well, Admiral, that was fun. That was. That was. Interesting. D5 was uh, was uh, was important in the first half. I definitely thought it was more important than you did. I wonder if I had avoided that pin, if I could have more slowly capitalized on D5. you have any thoughts on that? Slowly capitalize? No, it's... See, it's, it's a close position that's not so positional as you make it out to be. So... I mean, it, it all rides mostly on, in, in this case, it's riding mostly on actually 
your your knight play, but not not with not with d5. Not with you d5. You have to get it to somewhere else. Okay. No, no, no. You have to get it to some, some, somewhere, somewhere on the queen side where you would have, chance some chances of you know preventing my attacks going elsewhere. Okay. Because no, that's where, like my, where all my. I'm the one with the attacks because I can play f4, start taking space on the king side. Are you talking about queen side attacks? Yeah, queen side because that's where all the action is right now. Nobody cares about the king side. I mean, the king side is just like hipsters only. To me, there's no kings on the queen side, so what's the point of attacking? How can you create weaknesses there? Well, there, well, see, there, there's not much point just pushing pawns over there because I'm just going to deflect them real easy with my bishop and my other and my other pawns. People think that okay, fine, you're just going to push pawns and it's going to make all the difference in the world. But you, you just try what happens, and then you, you you're just going to see a lot of mess. Okay, so it could be perhaps how you did um, play the queen side because you did create quite a weakness by um, with c4, and the computer actually says you made great moves, and there wasn't anything I could do about it. Queen f3 perhaps, and then a4. So you do have play on the queen side from from some kind of pawn lever. Is that what you were thinking the whole time, all the way back when you played queen b6? No, and actually, just like you know, recently I've been I've been having a lot of success with placing my my queen on queen b three as white, especially mm -hmm. in blitz games, mm -hmm. which you wouldn't expect from an admiral. But so I just just trying to do some reverse theory with that one on queen b six instead. I mean, it's just just mostly just to support pawns and just go for a diagonal eventually. Like you know, if you just push b six, I mean b three like you did, then I just support things on with with queen c six. Mm -hmm. Were you happy then, to see that I played b3? Then, because it creates a structure that's kind of brittle for my pawns? Yeah, see, that's, that's sort of the encouragement. I mean, if, if it doesn't... I mean, if, if if you don't capitalize on that, then I can. Then 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 there's nothing... But that's not very likely. But it'll at least lead to a more interesting pawn structure that I can exploit. Which I did. Because then I was able to get that rook up to d4 and eventually support my put my pawn push up with c4 yeah and then i made a really big wonder with, with getting that blunt with the bishop pre-move which was not good at all yeah the bishop pre-move just didn't make any sense that's all <coughs> excuse me so what did you think about my play of g4 h4 was it too late or was it the wrong idea entirely Too little, too late, or maybe too little, too early, actually, <laughs> because you you're just rushing into. I mean, I, I I didn't really get the point of that. You're just trying to rush, to hope for some sort of checkmate, but right. I think uh, the I mean, you seem to be capitalizing. Center still closed because the D files blocked by D three and the E files blocked by E five. So maybe play on the side. I figured I would actually have time to play this lever with G five, open a file, and attack. It turned out your your opening the center was much quicker. <laughs> I mean, there's that. So, I mean, I mean, you're 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 trying to go for for whatever you can. Uh huh. So you think it was but the right this plan? Kind of there just wasn't enough time, and it didn't have enough power. Well, the right plan. I mean, you're just going to have to ask Tadowski, Tadowski for that. Well, I don't think I have him in my instant message chat, so we're going to have to we're going to have to wait on that. If oh, he used the music dance. Oh, really? To oh, Tadowski. I, I miss. Yeah. I misheard that uh, that Russian name. Tadowski. He's a Russian frog. Tadowski. Tadowski. <laughs> yeah, something of the sort. Something like that. So I'm looking at the computer analysis on 29 bishop takes c4. Looking at what I expected, 29 bishop e4. And you actually are quite, quite winning. Quite ahead because of your active pieces and my weaker pawns. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you had the pawn push row with the a file. And then, and you just cleared things out. Actually, I mean, after that, after that bishop, I mean, that's a ridiculous move, but it still ended up clearing things out significantly, at least a lot sooner than I hoped it would. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
we are going to try something new. It maybe it won't work. But maybe it will. <coughs> so Admiral A and viewers, the new plan here, it may not happen, but we're looking we're doing a public game seek against very strong players who aren't Admiral A. And my my plan here, All it, right. is, it is a casual game, but my plan is to do like a teamwork game where Admiral A and I combine brains to come up with the best moves possible. And meanwhile, everybody will learn a lot and perhaps will win. <clears throat> How does that sound? By, by our forces combined. All right. Uh, the downside is the, the game seeks a very high high uh, rating threshold because obviously we have to play really strong players. I better bump that down a little bit. So we might not get an opponent. And then the other problem is, well, it's casual. So who's interested in a casual game who's that strong? Probably nobody, but then we might find something. Obviously, it's going to be casual. Otherwise, it's known as cheating because I'm using Admiral A's brain for the benefit of my rating. Not okay. We should let them know. We should let them know? Are you kidding? We definitely need to keep them in the dark. Well, just tell them to watch Chesswiss TV. That's like sort of what I'm in the dark. Although, if you're watching stream, you can tell that my room is brightening as the aluminums of your intelligence brightens the room. Things are getting better. Okay. Well, that's, well, I think that's all That's all just that's your shirt, probably. It probably is. My, my shirt does have a glowing effect as time goes on. Uh, let's let's turn the game seek down to a 2100 threshold to see if we can find somebody. By the way, there's an All interesting right. uh, new topic in the forums. Finally, a decent Go server. Interesting, interesting. What is a Go server? Asks somebody in chat. So there's a board game called Go. Do you know of it, Admiral? Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to that movie that's coming out. The documentary, actually. It's called The Surrounding Game. Oh, I don't know that documentary, but that sounds a lot like Go. Sounds a lot like Go, because essentially what Go is about is, well, you surround your opponent's bases in order to capture them. And the, 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 this is an interesting thing. You have all this, these overlapping players who play who play Go and poker. Like uh -huh. Hikaru Nakamura likes to play a lot, a lot of poker, and, and uh, what's her name? Uh, Jennifer Shahad also likes to play poker, but I'm not with that camp. I mean, they're just, they're just playing on games of chance. But Go! Okay, Go's are actually rather interesting, but I haven't actually gotten more too into it, because if I, if I played more Go, I would play more Blunders and Chess. <laughs> that's just gonna happen. That's not true. I play Go, and oh, you're right. <laughs> hmm, that's a good point. So you've heard of it, kind of interested in, it, interested in the documentary, but you haven't, you haven't actually played it. Not, not very much, no. Okay, well, for the viewers of Chess with TV, could... I am planning to do a Go-based episode coming up soon, probably uh, three episodes from now. So we will be playing some Go. I'll teach the viewers what the rules are, because it's really simple. There's only one rule. And then we'll actually try it out. It's going to be fun on this new Go server. Go is. Yeah, although I am not Go is. Um, we could call it Go well, is yet. for a day. <laughs> Okay, I'm moving the rating requirement down because I'm running out of small talk. Being a nerd, I'm not very good at keeping people interested why with talking. Why don't you just put a, put a seek out in the chat? I'm pretty sure some people would like to play against us. Oh, I think so. I think so. Let's just do that. Hey, 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 every hey everybody. Body. Oh, we're too late. Toad of Sky is challenging us to a game. It is just Wiz and Admiral A against Toad. What do you think we should play? All Admiral? right. Uh, we're white, so I recommend well, moving a pawn. What do you think? I recommend moving a pawn as well. All right. It's E4. Now, let me send you the link to the game in the special outer space chat so you can uh, observe. I'm maybe moving the pieces, but you're providing your input. Would you like to play an open Sicilian or a closed Sicilian? You know what? Let's keep it an Alapin. Oh, an Alapin. C3. C3. I mm -hmm. love this line. When my opponent does not play d5, which Toad has not, so it's d4 now. I'm throwing that out, um, and we get a huge center. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Toad. We're a little pressed for time. We only have 15 minutes left in the episode. I'm thinking knight f3. Do you agree? I agree with knight f3. Excellent. Knight f3. We agree. Butterfly, bird, and b say we. Oui. Uh, they speak French, which is why they agree, and it has to rhyme. Excellent. 
Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. 15 minutes left in the castle. We definitely have to keep the pace up. I'm throwing my other knight out. Or would you prefer bishop d3? Does it really matter in this position? No. No, get that knight out. Get that knight out. The other For one. sure. Because the bishop, what do you think? Bishop b5? Uh, bishop c4? Bishop Bishop e2? You're thinking e2, right? Well, if, if you're going to get that bishop out, then you want to get it to d3. But Really? Not just yet. Okay, so we have... Yeah, okay, so we have d e. Okay, so we have d five on the board right now. Okay, I think you want just. Okay, so we have that that knight on f three and. Okay, so just. Okay, put push that e pawn. Yeah, I in, in a one second game, I'm definitely like e five right away because you don't have to think. You know he has to move his knight. Don't even have to calculate anything. Mm -hmm. So should we play for f four? I always feel like my two pawns out here are all alone without the f pawn. Am I doing it wrong? You don't need to get the other pawn out right now. I mean, right now you just want to just annoy that knight as much as possible. Oh, sure. I don't mean right, you want, you want right now. I, I don't mean right now. I mean, I got bishops to move. I mean, like the middle game. Okay. Well, so, once so, we get to the middle game. <laughs> we'll talk about it then. Bishop d3 sound good to you? Mm-hmm. Okay, excellent, excellent. I would love for him to take that knight, strengthen up that pawn chain a little bit. Pre-move that, that pawn over done that knight. Consider it done, Admiral. For those of you just tuning in, this is Admiral A on the chat. He is a 2300 strong player from planet Earth, currently in a train with fireworks. We're playing a two against one game against Tuldovsky, a Russian frog. Bishop f5, I think castling makes sense, or are you scared of something here? No, I don't think we have too much to be worried about. I mean, that, that, that diagonal falls pretty well, so we can castle very fine. Excellent. Castling very fine. Rookie one look good to you, or should we move the bishop next? Rookie one just uh, just looks fine. Now we're really adding pressure onto that knight. All right. He's going to have to take on c3. The pressure is mounting. Yep. There's nothing nothing else to do. <clears throat> it is insurmountable. It is, yes. Okay, right. he captured. Now bishop a3 looks interesting. You have thoughts on that? Bishop a3. Is that? Yeah, I always okay. like to think about bishop out there when it's possible. Where should this c1 bishop go? Yeah, okay. what, what do you think? Oh, but but are you taking that already? So, yeah, so you think? Yeah, you're gonna have to take the queen capture first. Yeah. Of course, of course. But the yeah. c1 bishop. That's that's what I want to know about. Somewhat. We have to make a decision now. Bishop a3, bishop g5, bishop d2, I guess, are my three thoughts. Yeah, 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 get the, get the, get the bishop out of the way. Yeah. a3, what a radical choice. Really interesting. See, I would also think about trading off his Fianchetto bishop. You know, bishop e3, queen d2, bishop h6, but it's really slow. It takes three moves to, to trade, and then it's a trade. Mm. But it's worth that tempo. Yeah, I don't know if it is. So rook, rook a b one here. Can mm -hmm. e six yeah, be you played? Want to get that out. Really interested about e six. I don't know why. It just feels like oh. it messes with him. What do you think? And this. Okay, so oh, okay, so he's multi-vision. Yeah. Yeah, okay, try, try, try e6. Try e6. There's no takebacks, but no problem. Losing is not an option. Pawn takes pawn, rook takes, and look at that backwards e7 pawn. Now, he hasn't actually played pawn takes pawn, but I should pre-move this rook capture right now. I mean, I mean, if he takes it, then we could just put the knight up to g5. Oh, really? Canceling my pre-move. You're right, yeah. right? Okay, so he pushes. Where's the next target, Admiral? What do you think? C4? I, I'm starting to be worried about this pressure on the C-file. Rook E2 to prepare for a doubling. You know, with E6 out there, I might I just play C4. Oh, wait, you could, you could just move that queen up to B5. Right now. Oh, it's a double attack. Yes! This is pretty strong. I don't know how he could defend both pawns. The brilliancy discovered by Admiral A on the voice chat. Yeah, 
That's looking pretty good. Todovsky being crushed by the Crusher. By the Crusher C. <laughs> Just with Crusher C. C, C, C. Yeah, he, he gives what do you think he's going to respond to something else? Like yeah, this? I don't know. Queen d8 is just weak. Uh, bishop back, interesting. Yeah, I think white's got a nice edge. And lucky for us, we're white in this game. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing just fine. Just take the deep, deep pawn. Take the deep pawn. Tempted to take the other. You know, it, it brings a queen trade also. But they're both good. Queen d7 looks attractive now. Yeah, I think the D7 looks just fine. But maybe, what you're to Yeah. I don't know. Knight C4 is coming. We have to move our bishop. Then maybe the D7 pawn falls and we don't have an advantage anymore. But then there's the rook well, is Well, I mean, really, might if, if, see, see, if, if, it, it would do just fine if he takes that exchange because then we have the E, e pawn just running towards the finish line. Oh, And he yeah. definitely moves no groups out of the way. Yeah, look at that. All bishop, right. He took exchange. All right. So bishop is coming down on the e pawn. The bishop takes e seven next, I guess. Yep. All right, now we're cooking. Trade, trade. He doesn't trade. Trade bishops. I said. Oh, another free pawn. Whoa! Hold it, hold it. I found a free pawn. Oh yeah. Two for one special. All right. Okay, so now we're ahead two pawns, two solid pawns, instant win, or rather, um, slow win, just add water. Just add water. Difficult so to So how win. do we add water? I don't know, maybe rook e3. It's a way to keep moving while protecting the immediate weakness. Mm. Yeah, yeah, rook e3, you need, to, you need to really guard that pawn. I really want to push c4, but he's got a really nice bind on that with the knight blocking it. I can't draw arrows anymore. Rook d3 is what I'm thinking now. I'm not going to give you time. Just going to go for it. I'm actually kind of I mean, glad. Knight, 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 knight e5 would have been stronger, actually. I mean, those, Lose those the rook. Oh, 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 yeah. I didn't even... Oh, I should have given you time. Outer space moves are superior. What about knight e5 now? Yeah, I guess we can still go for that. Yeah, I I just, he didn't see it, so we're just... We're good. Yeah, this is strong. This is like strong. Definitely, definitely. Knight d2. Take, um, I'm not even afraid of knight d2. I just take it. And bishop take. Yeah, um, not going to take with a pawn because we got all our blunders out last game. Maybe f4 now. Or rookie one. Rookie one, actually. Yeah. Uh, Some activity going. Should be able to win this with my eyes closed. What do you think of bishop g3? Is that slow or am I making progress? Maybe d5. Well, that's an interesting book. D5, right? Yeah, d5, d5, d5. Okay, oh, that's yeah. a good plan. Look how yeah. strong that is. Promoting the pass pawn into a pass pawn that's a little bit further down the board. <laughs> okay. Uh, what ideas does he have with rook to c4? I don't know. He made it our turn. <laughs> That's pretty strong. Because we'll run out of time. <laughs> what do you think? d6? Bishop? I want to play bishop d4 and just really lock everything down. But then we lose the d-pawn. No, I, th I think you should just keep pushing the d-pawn. I'll do it. You're the admiral. But you're the chess whiz. Okay, it's what a team. Oh. Are you afraid? I'm playing bishop g3. No. No, bishop. Wait, does this really have a... What are you thinking? I think bishop g3. Just kind of consolidate. Then bishop g3. Yeah, yeah, let's just bishop g3. Yeah, it seems... Seems pretty solid. With the pawn on d6, but yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Cat couldn't didn't hear that. We're holding, but can we convert? Rook c six. I think I can leave the file with rook d e three. If he takes, I repin. Mm. 
Maybe I should defend, though. Yeah, it's still hard to win, and we only have one minute left. Yeah, then just go for it. Rook to e3. Rook e3? I don't really like this. He takes with bishop by pin. He moves king closer. Well, maybe the pin just stays pity for a long time. You know? Hmm. Okay, so he's moved his king out. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, this is a great opportunity for, for pin. Just check. Look up your check. Oh, yeah, and then rookie eight. <laughs> this is going to work. Uh, unless it doesn't. King g7, there's no pin. Well, if it moves to king g7, then you just move from bishop to e5. Bishop d5, check again. King Then king g8, and we still don't have a pin. What next? He's going to do it, and then it will be the deadly our turn again. So hard to win ahead two pawns. It's kind of strange. Huh. Yeah, King G7. What happened? Oh, he resigns. <laughs> well, I'm going wow. to complain about that and get my ears tangled up with this weird headset. Um, I'll just uh, accept it. GG, Todovsky. And look, there's a chat in here. Everybody's chatting about chess. Great, great game. Game, game. I'll type in there. Great game. He resigned. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. So the computer says that White's ahead by 1.6. So no, not any kind of mistake to resign. But I didn't see exactly what to do next after King G7, Bishop B5, check. King G8, Bishop E5. You weren't up to much to do. You don't have to do anything. You can just wait until you win. Really, because I had two pawns, so so beautiful. Well, the winning move there was Queen B five attacking two pawns at the same time, but that was made possible. That move right there was made possible by an earlier brilliancy pawn to E six, which was one move. That was a bit wonderful. Not much earlier. Right there, that's the brilliancy of chess whiz coming to you through your computer screen. So that wraps up the episode. Thank you, Admiral A, for your time. That was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Do you have any I mean, last this was words? A... Go ahead. Don't play chess and trains. Don't play chess and trains. Don't train while playing chess. Um, I'm about to click the button that makes you unhearable to everyone else. Oh, no. Any, any, okay. last, so, any so... last words before I do that? Um, nothing is so healing as a human touch. Oh, very good words indeed. Thank you, Admiral A. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I just muted his laugh because I have the power to mute laughs. <laughs> Even my own. So the a little bit of administrivia going on right now. Next episode on Tuesday at 4 p.m. UTC, 8 a.m., PST, 11 a.m. EST is the Funday Monday Battery Challenge. If you guys want to participate in Chess with TV, send in your games where you set up a battery, which, by the way, is king. No, never mind. It has nothing to do with kings. It's a... Uh, a battery is where you line up two things that move in the same direction in the same line. So like a rook and a queen both moving on a file, or a bishop and queen both moving on a diagonal, lined up in the same place. So one is defending the other. It's a, it's a very powerful strategy. So I want to see your games with the best batteries. That'll be interesting. And then I will try to build the best batteries possible on Tuesday. Don't forget, we're going to play an episode full of Go, which is an interesting board game indeed. That's probably going to be the Tuesday after that, so don't miss that. Next week, a week from today, who knows what will happen? Two weeks from today, we might have a simultaneous exhibition, and we might not. That's what's coming up. We're coming up to episode 100, which is so exciting because that means we've spent 100 hours playing chess, which means if we just had a job, we could actually have some money instead of sitting around on the internet. But chess is pretty fun. I don't really care. I prefer the chess. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next time.